Welcome back to another KOTOR 2 video where we don't actually play KOTOR 2. I'm Negative Zero, thank you for joining me today, and I thought we would discuss some of the mods that you'll be seeing in my upcoming playthrough of KOTOR 2 The Sith Lords. This is a little bit more complicated than I expected. I thought it would be exactly like KOTOR 1, where you just dump everything in the override folder and you go. And that is what you do, or you use the TSL patcher, which is even more convenient. However, there are some issues. See, in the last video, I talked about the recent update to KOTOR 2 by uh, Aspire, who installed, who made the Sith Lords Restored Content mod an actual thing. It just comes with the game now, and that's so cool, and it's so exciting, but it messes up a whole lot of mods. The TSL RCM, for short actually is not compatible with all the mods that are out there. So I've had to go through and pick and choose, and there are some that are listed as completely viable, and then there's a whole lot where nobody really knows, and then there are some that are known to not work with KOTOR 2. So that's something that I've had to go through all day today, try to figure out what works and what doesn't. So I wanna go ahead and go into my mods. I got a clean override folder. The game comes with an override folder if you're playing the Steam version like I am, it comes with an override folder and a modules folder because that's what the Sith Lords Restored Content mod uses. It, it's already there for you, so you can just dump more files in there. So that's the override folder from the game. I've had to reinstall it so many times as I've tried to get stuff to work. I've had a lot of messy things happen even in the, the last few hours. But this, this is the mod list that I'm going for right now. So th these are just saves. I've got a bunch of saves in there so I can see the different planets and as I put in various texture mods, how that's going to look. So those are, I'm not installing into the game, of course, when we actually get to playing it. But the known compatible mods, I've got five. I've got five. One is high-res beam effects. This was in KOTOR 1, so was invisible headgear and realistic visual effects. These are all, I believe, exactly the same as the KOTOR 1 version or maybe these were first and then the KOTOR one came after, I don't know. The Sith Assassins have lightsabers, which seems totally appropriate. It makes the game a little bit harder. I think they come get you early on. Maybe a Telos? I'm not sure. I, I have only very vague memories of KOTOR 2. I haven't played it in, I don't know, at least 10 years. So <laughs> it's been a while. The ultimate sound mod is very cool. It brings in sounds from the movies instead of just the ones that... Um, they, they made for specifically for the KOTOR game. So those are the known compatible ones. There's a couple more that are, that are in different folders that I'll show you when we get there. Uh, as far as appearance mods, I didn't really change how the various characters look, except for I wanted the, the main Sith to look a little bit different. So I have a Nihilus mod that changes his, I think it just changes his mask and his robes. Well, I, I mean, I guess that's everything for him, but it, it looks really cool if it works. I haven't found a save where he's nearby so i don't i don't actually know uh as far as the pc heads go i'm actually going to play a chiss i'm gonna do this one and you'll see what that looks like i don't know if that'll be in this video i don't know if i still have a save for that but i am gonna play chiss and because we played chiss i had to do something else because of course these head mods only do the head and you spend all of the paragus section of the game running around in your underwear and you don't want a blue head and then like human colored skin so i had to do something else which i'll describe in a minute i didn't do any of these other ones because i already know what i'm going to play the electro mesh rob uh, robes looks pretty cool uh you can buy them from a store a couple of different stores i just thought it was really neat looking so we might pick that up it looks good i, I think it'll look good with uh someone with a blue head movie style jedi master robes is kind of a standard robe mod that it's one of the most popular mods for kotor 2 i think they look pretty cool and then there's a scion mod you'll see him of course early on in the game he looks a little bit different now not crazy i don't think but he looks pretty cool and then there's this underwear mod now bear with me i this is not normally something that i would install but because again because of the blue head deal i had to find act what what basically is like long underwear for the character so this is from Red Rob 41 and he's got tons of stuff for like everybody. He went crazy with the underwear. I actually went with the Mass Effect mod and you see all these, they, they actually look different 
according to i think this is your race these are the various races and then this one is the dark side version and the dark side version is the one that is that completely covers the skin so that there's nothing that you see so i actually copied this three times and renamed all of these to be the uh the uh underwear for the <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm losing my words Anyways, I copied this one so all of the various male underwear are the same with the long underwear. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, moving on. That, I didn't do any of these other ones. I really could care less. I thought about, I think when you see Atten on Paragus, I think, is he in his underwear too? I don't even know. I was going to do him, but then I was like, who cares? And then Vissus Black Robe. Vissus and Kreia, when you put clothes on them, it... I, I don't believe it actually changes what they're wearing. Like, they always seem to wear the same clothes. And this is black robe is something that you can put on her that will change the way that she appears. And it's a kind of cool-looking robe. I Again, I, in the saves that I checked, I, I think you have to start a new game for this one because in the saves that I had, it wasn't in the inventory, so I couldn't do anything about it. I don't know if it'll work. A lot of these, I don't know if they're going to work. They just sound cool, so I'm throwing them in planets these are almost all anything that says ote or 2012 which is all of these all of these planet mods this harbinger mod this duxin mod and this dantooine mod those are all zedi zaros you may if you saw my kotor one playthrough on the channel the more recent modded one for android we had all the texture packs from zedi zaros and they were so cool and so some of them were really weird I'm going with him again for all these things. There's improved Paragus Asteroids. That's not him. The black Ebon Hawk looks really cool. The Ebon Hawk past version, I think this is Zedi Zarwars as well. And the Dantooine mod, I, I, when I was looking at it, um, Zedi Zarwars had a, a, a green floor and brown grass like sticking up. So I actually downloaded this mod, which is another Dantooine mod by Angelus6. And I just took the grass out of that and put it into the Dantooine. So, so the floor, the ground floor is green, as well as the grass that's sticking, that's sticking up is green. Okay, moving on. Weapon mods. High quality blasters. I had, there's a huge problem with the lightsabers. Let me tell you something. I'm going to show you in a minute. There is a huge problem with lightsabers in what Aspire has done to update the game. Because sometimes the textures of the lightsabers are there, and sometimes they're not, and they look like like white styrofoam sticks. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But I downloaded these mods and they did the same thing. In fact, I didn't even realize that it was in the, I guess what would now be considered the vanilla version plus uh, the restored content. And I, I, I'm, I don't even, I don't know what to do. I mean, I kind of know what to do. I kind of have a solution. But I wanted all of these cool lightsaber hilts. They look so cool. But I really feel like the update to the game busts the lightsaber hilts and it just makes it not look good at all and like i said even the vanilla version doesn't look good but i have something i want to do the blasters fine they look good of course we we won't be using blasters most of the time and finally and and i'll show you in game what i mean about the lightsabers being messed up and then that was everything and then i realized i forgot a bunch of stuff the backdrops in the skyboxes i think this is all skyboxes telos backdrop sunny on under Andoran. Narshada, oh, this one looks so cool. I can't wait to see it. Uh, the cockpit skyboxes and the backdrop improvements for for the space shots. I think that is. I think that leaves maybe Dantooine and Korriban with no updated skybox. But I didn't. I didn't find any. So easier prestige. The way that I'm thinking of playing the game itself is going. We, we may not end up with a prestige class. I'm all into role playing this one and not like power playing it and going for the most damaging or the highest DPS or anything like that. I kind of want to role play the game. I don't think it's that hard to beat the game from what I recall. So I really want to get into the story and the role play and just do some cool stuff. So easier prestige, if it works, will allow us to... It, we don't have to have a really high... A uh, good value or a bad value as far as our light side dark side stuff we can just if we're a little bit light side we can go into the prestige class if it works this was interesting because 
this mod has one file crea.dlg it's a dialogue file with crea and so you talk when you talk to her this is changed so that it's easier so that when it sees what your light side or dark side number is then you can go into the prestige class so it changed this file however there's another mod that changes this and this is the crea hood down i really wanted to do some cool stuff with crea there's a couple of cool mods but i couldn't get them to work right there was one where crea's robes would change color depending on the outfit that you put on her because normally like i said with visus you put something on her i mean it's on her but you don't see any difference in the character so i was really looking for something that would do that and there was one that changed like just her robe color and i couldn't get it to work or actually what happened when i put different clothes on her she actually turned in different different things like a republic officer or some other character and it, it just it was clearly conflicting with something else so I had to take everything out and reinstall all all the mods to not have that mod. I think it's, is it in here? No, I don't know. I don't remember what it was called, but it's something like Kraya's alternate robes or something like that. Then there was another one. You know what? Is it, is it in here? No, it's not. There was another one that was, that let you have Kraya wear pretty much anything and the modder had made it so that she she would look like you know she was wearing the normal clothes like her clothes her outfit would change and it had like her little stump of her hand there as well looked really really cool but again i tried it and i i, I couldn't it it didn't work so i couldn't get it to i just dropped it so anyway that's all the mods now let me show you this thing that i was talking about with um with the lightsaber hilts, it's really weird and I don't understand it exactly. But let's go ahead and get through all of this. And I'll load up one of the saves, one of those saves that I, I uh, just installed into my save folder. So I can test out all these various things. Now with all the mods, it does take a little bit longer to fire up the game. When I was first loading it up just to see if, you know, the chiss head would work or anything else. It would load pretty quick, but now it's it's not. Let's see. I wanted to go to, was it here? No, here. This is the spot. So take a look at the lightsabers. We have two lightsabers in our hand, and you can see they have a little bit of a, a, a texture on them, and you can see that. But as I turn the camera, look at that. The texture totally disappears. There's nothing there. That's that happens even if I only have the stuff, you know, the vanilla install, which has uh, TSL RCM in it. So the restored content mod, whatever Aspire did, does this in the vanilla game. Like it's this is what happens. It just does this. And of course, this happened with all the lightsaber mods that I tried to install as well. But there is a fix. There is a fix. So if you're thinking of playing this on your own, there is a fix for this. Let me see if I can get out of this and show you what it is. Uh, let's see. Okay. So here's my uh, Steam folder with all of my games in it. If I go into Knights of the Old Republic 2 and I go to the SWKOTOR2.ini, the INI, and I open it with, I think I have to open it with Notepad. Yeah, there's a there's a setting in here. Let me bring this over here in the graphics options. Disable vertex buffer objects equals one. So what I found online is that if you just put a space in here, I think you're just making this go away and not having it work right, like just turning it off. I don't know. But if I go in there and I save and I reopen the game, I actually still have the game running, but if I closed it out and then reloaded the game, that problem with the textures disappearing on the lightsabers would be gone. So that's how I'm gonna play it. There were some comments when I, where I found this online that said that that makes the game crash more. I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know guys. So we're just gonna go, this may be a big disaster. We may not even be able to finish the game. I hope we do. <laughs> so that's uh, but that's all the mods that I'm looking at right now for uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you're excited, if you're ex excited as I am. I'm excited because I'm nervous as well. And I, you know, this may just crash and burn. 
Who knows? But we're going to find out together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, take care and we'll see you soon.